Hey guys, Fuzzy Psycho Bear here again with another episode of Rebuild 3. Picking up right where we left off. We are going to... We're doing good on food. We've got 50 of 50. So we probably need to get a warehouse so we can up that storage. So we can hold some more. That is a warehouse right there. So that's where we're going to go next. Let's just kill these guys. We'll reclaim that, and I'm pretty sure that warehouse will bring us up to 100. And then we can go ahead and start stockpiling some food, because you always want a little uh, little extra food. Ooh, and we can actually just go ahead and reclaim that. That'll just get us even more food. Never can have too much food. Let's scout out this school. Our scavenger guy's taking just forever. What are my actual leader skills? Let's check this out. I have six to building, one to leadership, and 1.3. I think I can actually. I wonder if I go on this mission with him, if that'll speed it up. <laughs> See that smiley face on the left? That's the average happiness of our survivors. It's, if it's low, people might refuse to work, or worse, churches, bars, and time off missions make people happier. Time off missions, okay. Survivor arrives. We found a man not far from our gates where he had been hiding out from the zombies for days. We suggested our fort might be a bit safer than the garbage bin he was crouched inside. When we found him, he seemed a little skeptical. What's our happiness at? We're at 66 happiness, so we can't invite him to stay. Sam Le Prue is going to put up his feet and stay a while. And why not? We humans have to stick together these days. We're social creatures. It's what we're designed to do. All right, so we got a new guy who's also a builder. We got these guys trying to sneak in here. So what are time off missions? So if I drag this guy here, time off. Oh, okay. So I can... He's at 75% happiness. Someone's defending this building, but there are no mass zombies nearby to defend from. Drag the survivor to another building and assign them to do something useful. So the game's getting picky about how I'm playing it. So what do we want to do next? I want to test... I think I already cleared this out right. Yeah. Let's go ahead and reclaim that. I know before, if you took an area and there was a survivor there, they just kind of took off and then you didn't get to claim that survivor. I want to test and see if that's still the case. So we're going to just reclaim that zone without recruiting that guy. I'll send you down here to scout. No, we're going to leave you here to guard. My threat level is kind of 12%. Eh, we can live through 12%. Gustav! A funny little man with a caravan full of tree goods just pulled up. He has a thick accent and an even thicker mustache. Greetings, my friend. I am Gustav, peddler of the strange and exotic. I sell anything you can need, if you can afford it. If you want a good deal, you come meet me at the church. We will make, how you say, good business transaction. A city on the grow. Now that we've grown big enough and people feel safe inside the walls, some of our, our old problems are coming back. 
Survivors are starting to bicker among themselves, complaining about the quality of the food, demanding electricity and hot water and civil rights and blah, blah, blah. God, people just want everything. It's time we built a city hall and set up a government. Something better than the old pre-infection ones, a system that actually works. City Hall has been added to the list of buildings we can construct. That happens a lot earlier in the game than it used to. City Hall used to be kind of an end game kind of deal. Let's move you down here. Let's move you here. Okay, so we got a little more defense on that side. Scavengers make better farmers and harvest more food. Okay. What was it that builders... I think builders can harvest lumber, which gets materials. But we have to have like a forest space for that, I think. Did I already clear that out? No, I did not. Oh, what can I do with this office building? What is it doing for me now? Seven defense. We used to spend our lives in these offices. Chains to desk, drinking cheap watery coffee to keep from falling into a boredom. I don't think it does anything. It's Inatech. Good old Inatech. So let's change this to... Do I really want a city hall already? I never did figure out how much housing I have. I wonder if I can click on for two survivors to live here. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Cancel. Done. Oh, here we go. Nine of ten survivors. So I can hold, I have room for one more guy. So let's go ahead and build that into uh, an apartment building. No danger. I don't know that I'll ever get used to these zombie attacks, but it's good to know we're beating back the brain eaters without too much trouble. For the moment, at least. They finally finished scavenging. Okay, let's take you and kill these guys off. Let's take... I wonder what direction I need to go in. See, I don't know what's... Wait, that's a city... Is that a city hall or is that a bank? I don't know. We'll figure that out. We need to get a bar and or a church. There's a church right here. Scout it out. I think we can claim this. Yeah. Let's see what happens to this recruitable guy. Let's see if he just goes away or... Ooh, and there's a giant farm right there. So we can take this school next. Ooh. I need to beef this up. There we go. Take the school next. And that will connect to this farm over here. That'll be perfect. I'll go ahead and send this guy over here to scout. Go ahead and send this slow scavenger guy up here. Oh, wait, I want to get this. Because I got that perk where anybody can build anything in one day. So, awesome. We got storage. Uh, I actually need to click that. Yeah, 50 of 100 per day. So, yeah, now our surplus food we can actually store, which will be very helpful. And you're just going to go ahead and scavenge that. I wonder if it goes faster since it's in our walls. That might be a worthwhile trick. 
So he's not here anymore. We're still at nine survivors. So we didn't recruit him. I wonder where he went. Scavengers are better at hunting. Uh oh, I'm running low on materials. I need to find. Was it a forest tile that I used? There used to be a tile you could set a builder on and he could just chop wood and that would give you more materials. Maybe I just need to scavenge more. I don't know. I don't see any forest tiles. Let's go ahead and just... I think the crates are supplies. We'll go ahead and have him scavenge that one. Lone Traveler. A woman with a nasty looking scar and a nasty looking wolf dog are at the gates. Says she and her dog are just looking for a place to bed down for the night before they continue on. She's got a steady cold gaze that tells me she's seen some things out there and may have lost some love for humanity along the way. Let's feed her dinner and invite her to stay. Over dinner, the travelers shared stories of the world of the South. It doesn't sound like they're faring much better down there than we are. And a lot of cities were completely leveled in the fighting. She and her dog are headed north in the hopes that colder winters will slow the Zed down. So she didn't stay, but we did feed her, because, you know, what the hell. These guys are getting aggressive on me. There we go. So I just finished... Blame the school. We're still only getting three. So that guy's nearly done. That guy's about half done. Okay. No sweat. Did you know the undead can't swim? On a related note, we've got a swimming pool we need to empty now. Because <laughs> it's full of zombies. Oh, we got some new guys. Following signs of human ha habitation, I knocked on a door at the church. The man who answered the door spoke softly. He said his name was General Bylas, and he'd been hoping somebody would come before it was too late for his friend. His friend is indeed looking quite the worse for wear, lying in a bathtub of tepid water in an attempt to bring down his fever. What should I do? Yeah, we'll take them both. If someone gets injured, lucky for them, it wasn't worse. They'll have to spend a few days recovering before they can work again. People recover faster in hospitals. So let's see, we got a soldier and an engineer. We carefully transported the sick man, Noah, to a clean room in our fort where he could take care of him. Where we could take care of him. He seems to be looking better already, but I fear this is a chronic illness which will come back to haunt him again. General Bylas is very happy we were able to bring his friend. Welcome to you both. Do I don't have a hospital. Do I even know where a hospital is? No. I wonder if I can just build a hospital before I even find a hospital. So General General Bylas was the engineer? I assumed he was the fighter. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Um, ah, craps. Where we're at. Okay. We have five materials now. This guy finished his stuff. So if you go scavenge there. 
Do I have anything I can do with an engineer right now? 11 of 12 survivors. No, I do not have anything I can do with an engineer right now. I haven't built an apartment. And I need to put somebody else up there. There we go. So go ahead and send him to recruit. We'll have that apartment done by the next turn. which gives us, so we still got three empty spots. Uh, hopefully he won't bring back three people. somebody better to guard that or I could just drag more guys there we go okay so I don't really need builders right because anybody can just build anything in a day so let's make him a scavenger. And yeah, screw it, we'll make them both scavengers. Because we builders uh well I say that. If we find a place to chop wood, then the builders would be better, but I don't see any place like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and make them scavengers. I think they'll be more useful that way. Fight or flight. Aiden NG got careless and forgot the knock test. Always knock on a door first and listen for movement on the other side before turning the knob. Zed poured out when he opened it. A panicked chase. A wrong turn down a hallway, a locked door in the stairwell, and he found himself on the roof with two choices. Leap off and hope something breaks his fall, or fight the zombies barehanded. <laughs> Ooh. Ha <laughs> uh, This is actually a new... Uh, thing. I've never had a scenario like this where I had to pick whether they jumped off the roof or fought the zombies. How many is... it just said Zed poured out. That sounds like a lot. It takes a lot of Zed to pour. Jump off. <laughs> Something did break Aiden's fall. It's legs. <laughs> Yep, that hurt a lot, and he'll be out of commission for a while until his legs heal. But he's been obnoxiously happy since it happened. I guess he was so sure he was going to die up on that roof, just getting to see the sunrise one more time is a gift. But then his happiness went down one. Found two more people. <laughs> We've never eaten people. Truth. Apparently there are rumors going around that we are a bunch of filthy cannibals. Mrs. McFadden and Joshua McFadden, the siblings I met while recruiting today, say they heard it from a blonde woman who passed through here earlier in the month. We've never eaten people. I told them we've been lucky that it has never come to that. Our fort is a good source of food, and we've always made it through times of hunger with our morals intact. They seem satisfied with that and agreed to join us. But isn't that what cannibals would tell you anyway? It's not like cannibals will say, oh yeah, you got us. We totally eat people. So he's gonna go wipe that out. We'll get that farm. He's injured. I need to find a hospital. And that looks like the edge of the map. 
which is good because that means I'll have that's one less direction zombies can come from. Let's uh, what's going on here? Let's kill those guys. Oh, we got another leader, which we have no place for yet. That's right. We were gonna get this church. Is there anybody at the church? No. Reclaim that church. Which means I'm not going to have enough... Uh, I should have thought that through. I'm not going to have enough to reclaim that farm now. And I would have rather had the food. The road is long. Diane Moon heard crying last night and went out into the city to see what it was. She found a young girl wandering out there, exhausted, traumatized, and alone. The kid is in shock. She hasn't said a word. We don't know where she's from or what happened to her family, but can guess the worst. She's been sticking close to Diane. Yeah, we'll adopt her. Now we're losing food again. Yeah, I gotta get this food thing under control. Diane took the kid in. We eventually coaxed a name out of her, Lola. It's going to take some time before the poor girl's life is back to normal. If you could ever call this kind of life normal. But she'll heal and adapt. Children are pretty flexible that way. So we reclaimed a church. Put our leader in there. That'll get our happiness to go up. Our food's dropping. That's not good. But only a 0.5 per day. That means we got 120 days till we starve to death. I can live with that number. We got one material. Still haven't found a forest. I mean, I know that looks like forest there, but that's those aren't workable tiles. That's just the edge of the map. Hmm. And yeah, we'll just double him up in there. Get the happiness rolling up. We need to find... I wonder if I can just build a hospital on this blank spot. Do I have a spare... I do not have a spare guy right now, so I'll just do one turn. These guys are scavengers now. Awesome. Search. Search. You keep guarding. You keep guarding. You keep healing. You keep preaching. Fighting, fighting. Yeah, everybody's got it. And, oh, great. We got a third horde over here. So you're healed, so we'll throw you right into combat. I'll put you up. Oh my god. Even when I put him up there, we got nothing. Yikes. How many guys is that? Twelve? We need that much defense against 12 guys? I need to level up my soldiers, apparently. Hmm. Still losing a 0.5 per day. Yeah, I need four materials. This one is a free. You know what? We're just going to run out here behind this guy and scatter. Oh, there we go. Healing, guarding, guarding, guarding. Huh. Gambler's Ruin. Gustav visited today with Madame Rita, a very large and sultry woman in a revealing burlesque outfit and top hat. She presented a little roulette wheel with slots pointed, painted black, red, and one labeled jackpot. Rita sensually rubbed two casino chips 
between her fingers and wiggled her eyebrows at us. The minimum bet is ten food. Care to try your luck? We don't gamble with food. Sorry. I declined, saying I didn't think survival was a game. Marita pouted and packed away her things. Yeah, I'm not gonna... What does this do? Oh, he doesn't respect me because I didn't gamble. Pfft, well, fuck him. I mean, we're already losing food. Only 0.5 per day. But still, it seems stupid to start throwing away food. Especially one-sixth of our food. Everybody's still occupied. I'm going to send him on that scouting mission. That'll speed that up a little bit. Make it safer since there's more guys. I'm going to bring this guy up here. No, I'm not. That's a dangerous mission. We'll, we'll get those guys later. Ooh, we've got three materials now. That we needed four for the farm, if I remember right. The zombies are getting out of control. So let's see, that is masked zombies. It doesn't even say how many. This is 14. Oops. It's 18. That puts me thin in two places. Let's actually move him back there, put him there. Well, 11%. We can live with 11% for a minute. I need to thank whoever's idea it was to cover our walls with old saw blades. The Zed attacked today and took care of themselves with almost no help from us. Perfect. So these guys are free to do stuff again. Let's scout. I guess I'll scout this graveyard. I don't think there's going to be anything there. I can use. Actually, you know what? Let's throw him up here. Let's send this guy to scout. They're defending. Oh, we wiped uh, that guy out. Awesome. Very, very good. Very, very good? It's amazing how quickly our parking lots and empty spaces are being reclaimed by nature. Anywhere a bit of dirt settles or a crack forms in the pavement, life can take root. Before long, those roots are ripping up the cement and asphalt and making way for more plant life. Ivan Yu was foraging in one of these reclaimed spaces when he came across a variety of purple berry we don't recognize. What should we do with it? Eat the unknown purple berries, throw them out... Research them first. That seems like the smart move. We sent a sample to our top researcher, General Bylas, but he didn't manage to identify them. I guess there's one sure way to find out if these are edible. <laughs> that didn't do any good. Uh, we don't have a hospital. Throw them out. We got plenty of food. 
We chucked them out. Not worth risking our lives for a tasty snack. Still running low on food. Let's go ahead and claim this small farm. I wanted that big one, but we it's I need four supplies. Oh, so I should be regularly going outside the wall and killing. That actually makes sense. I bet it levels these guys up too. Found two guys. Shadow Thorson and his son, Billiam, seem to think they're better off on their own than joining some big organization like ours. Sounds like they've done that before and it didn't end well for them. Other people are a liability. Since then, they've just kept moving on and want to keep it that way. Bribe them with two food. Frighten them. Level two leader. That sounds kind of shitty. Let's just bribe them. For all their talk, these two didn't look well. Billiam seemed half starved to death, in fact. I offered the boy an energy bar, and he just about swallowed it whole. I told them there's more where that came from, and they practically followed me back to the fort like lost puppies. Perfect. So we got even more survivors, so now we are losing... Oh, we're losing two per day. That's not good. But we just got this farm back. Oh, you have another scavenger. You can go back to doing that. Hmm. Yeah, I'll just throw her in there to speed that up. So got those guys are all doing stuff. Everybody's got a job. Okay. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. Hit subscribe to see some more. Hit like if you liked it. And I'll see you guys next time.